Hi, just an update on my DI uh, hybrid inverter here. I've solved the uh, issue with the clock, or mostly. Um, I've installed, I found, I <laughs> finally found it, and installed the Wi-Fi uh, dongle there, as you can see, um, instead of the RS-232 going to my Solar Assistant Raspberry Pi. Um, and I've managed to fix it. So I've now got um, RS-485 going to the uh, Raspberry Pi. Sorry, you probably can't see the screen. It's just horrible out here. Don't know what that's like. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so the Raspberry Pi running Solar Assistant is now on RS-485 link. I had to get the uh, cable for that because it's a shared RS-485 and CAN bus. The CAN bus goes off to the battery. Anyway, um, so I've now got the Wi-Fi dongle. I'm now um, hooked into the, the, the DI cloud thing or whatever it is. Anyway, um, with that, it now does do the time sync. I'm still losing the time, like 10 minutes per day, but it is now resyncing. So I've got the time sync option uh, set on this thing, but there's still a problem in that, yes, it does drift 10 minutes per day, but it only sinks. And I've confirmed this with DI, the design of this thing. Yeah, not sure if you can see that again, but when you hit that time sync function up there, um, it only sinks. It only resyncs when the internal clock in this thing is uh, plus or minus five minutes from the network time. So this thing still drifts. Well, minus five minutes, yes, my, is it minus? Yes, minus five minutes a day. It loses five minutes a day. Um, so yeah, it can still be out by plus minus five minutes. That's the design of this heap of crap. It's unbelievable. But and hey, at least my timers now work. So I've got free power available from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And I set it for like five minutes. So 11 minutes past five and 11 minutes to two, just in case, and five minutes to two o'clock, just in case um, uh, to you know, cater for the error in this thing. But oh, what a heap of crap, really, um, this DI has been. It's just unbelievable. Anyway, it is now connected to the Wi Fi um, and it is time syncing. But yeah, five plus minus five minutes a day is the design of this turd. Unbelievable. Anyway, um, it has basically fixed my problem. I do now, at least it now keeps time relatively close and I can actually get my free power time window uh, during the day to charge the battery regardless of the weather. So anyway, that's the update. And there's my Raspberry Pi running the uh, Solar Assistant uh, thing. And yes, I do have uh, the Hoy Miles um, uh, thing, what, like a wireless adapter thing. Um, and I can actually connect to my inverter up there, but I haven't like reinstalled the old one to see if I can like re flash it or do whatever. Anyway, uh, that, that's powered from my uh, Yeti 400 uh, battery here just next to it. Um, so yeah, I need to get a case for this. It's just bodged in. But anyway, I do now have, I got the official CAN um, adapter cable for it because it only uses the two pins. Because that RJ11 connector on the DI, it actually has two buses. It's got uh, the CAN and uh, uh, the CAN bus and, uh, well, it's actually got two RS485 buses and it's only using uh, two wires. So I've actually uh, just connected that on. I didn't have to run a new cable. I ran the existing cable because I think this one is the, yeah, this is the cable coming in from the DI hybrid and it's running all pairs in there. Um, I, I won't disconnect it, but yeah, it's, it's running all the pairs, but the can uh, that goes to the Raspberry Pi is only tapping off two of the pins and thoughtfully AERL designed this thing so that it wasn't, um, it doesn't connect the can, the other pins and that it doesn't need to. So they're just floating there. So I can actually just tap off parallel so I can just uh, bodge parallel using an adapter like this uh, to go off to my solar assistant for those unused CAN lines. So I didn't have to run an extra cable from my DI. So yeah, uh, thanks very much, Peter, from AERL for designing that thing right. So yeah, it just didn't um, tap into the other lines that it didn't need to. So um, yeah, so the uh, DI hybrid inverter talks to here via the CAN lines, which, are, which use a different pair in there to the RS-485, which uses a different pair and then that just now goes off to my solar assistant. So there you go, that's the update for the dodgy uh, DI hybrid inverter. Oh, don't touch the things, they're awful. Um, had so many issues, but anyway, 
technically it's kind of sort of fixed my problem um and this battery by the way i um i will actually be moving this outside um because we ne actually need the room in the garage um so yeah i'll be and i'll probably be expanding this battery system as well um because the government is uh money printer go brrr, and um yeah i'm probably going to um expand the battery on this thing so yeah stay tuned for that um but we'll see what happens there but yeah um i'm gonna i'm gonna have to i'm gonna want to keep this rack of course because it's the purpose design rack for it but i want to move this entire thing outside so i need an outdoor weather uh cabinet so i want to put this cabinet inside another weather cabinet so if you've got any good um <laughs> links to um good outdoor weather cabinets i can use i'll leave it in the comments down below but anyway that's the plan um and yeah i'm back in business uh charging this battery during the day um during that three hour free window and uh yeah fantastic but i can only charge at the maximum five kilowatts so i can only get a maximum 15 kilowatt hours per day and this is a 25 kilowatt hour uh, battery. I've still got room for one more down there. Um, yeah, this is a 25 kilowatt hour battery, but I, at least I can get 15 kilowatt hours per day for free from the grid because we've got too much excess solar on our grid. So yeah, I'm going to use it uh, using that time window. So that's what it's currently uh, doing. It's not 11 a.m. yet, but it'll kick in. And uh, regardless of what the sun's doing, I can get at least 15 kilowatt hours per day from this thing, which should last me basically overnight if we don't do anything drastic. So there is the update. Catch you next time.